few. Okay. So we managed to pull it off, but we've had an injury to our high chief, which is not good. He's become wounded. That's not what we want right now. He's a pretty good chief, actually. But hopefully we can go destroy them. We've got 51% right now. We should go and take Shade Marsh, and we're probably done then. My wife is pregnant. Okay. Hopefully not a daughter, because we have Gavelkind, if I remember correctly. We definitely don't want Gavelkind, but if we destroy them here, this will completely destroy them. Okay. Now, again, they have Black Marsh again, but... So far, we're not losing any men. There you go, 57 percent Okay, let's just walk around then. Shade Marsh will be ours. How's everyone else doing? No one else seems to do it. My wife is just sat there. God damn her. Why would she do such a thing? Why would she not help her husband? God damn her. But yeah, I'm just going to hope I don't die. Health minus one. Hopefully, we're okay. Okay, we crossed the river there as well, but that's not going to matter. 57%. Yeah, we just need to take probably... Shade Marsh. And then we're probably fine. 27th. Oh, Frostfall. Okay, that's going to take quite a while. And it actually does tell you that. Actually, it tells you the 10th. Oh, that's quite nice then. Okay, so it shouldn't be any problem there. It even tells you when you're moving. So actually, yeah, knowing that wouldn't actually be a problem. That's quite nice. I'm glad the modders did that. Okay, we're almost there. Now, how many men are defending now? Okay, we just have enough men to take this. And we still have some more men in reserves, but you know what? It, it's not best to go get them. We'll leave them for now. I just can't believe my wife. She's just she's just been sat there. She's pregnant, but she's not even going to come and help us. God damn you, wife. You're such a slob. Maybe that's why she's a slob. What was that? She had a picture just changed. She's now leading an army, apparently. Just not moving them. I hate her so much. We've almost captured this. Excellent. And that should give us 80% at least. That should at least give us 80%, I would have thought. It is the war goal, after all. Let's have a look. 52%, yeah. There we go, 89%. And a son was born. Was that to us? Okay, not us, apparently. Okay. Someone else, probably one of my courtiers. We're at 89%. So we're going to have to just go down here and destroy their small army that is left. It's a sad, sad day. Okay, let's go around here then, because they're kind of... Uh, is he moving this way? Okay, now they're stopped. Hmm. Okay, we'll keep going here, though. It's only 101 men. We should be able to deal with them quite easily. And there we go. We had a son. Okay. Uh, Pyridir. Okay, so that means now the uh, inheritance is safe. That is good. You just need to change the inheritance laws. And need a new ambition. Obtain an artifact. Show bravery in battle. Reign for 10 years might be good. I think we should reign for 10 years. Yeah, because we want to change the um, inheritance laws. Let's reign for 10 years. Then we'll look for an artifact, I think. I'm very. I'm only 30 years old, you know, we're fine. Okay, still a long time it's going to take to get there. This person died. Okay. Nope, no idea who that was. Okay, died in childbirth. Ah, oh, that's a shame. So it looks like you can die in childbirth there. After many months of studying the campaigns of Rem and Cyrodiil, we've acquired many fascinating insights, and we've now become a strategist. Excellent, even better, wow. That should increase our martial, plus two. But obviously we're wounded, so that decreases. We should have like 20 martial at least. Excellent. Okay, very good. Very happy with how our character is developing. He's turned into a very big warlord, basically. And let's go down south. And we're going to cross a river, but it's only 103 men. So we should be able to defeat them. Okay, they're going to escape, but only just. And then we can just follow them and destroy them. They're going to River Keep. War against the tyranny of Count Manalus of Pell's Gate. Okay, so there's stuff going on in Nibbany. So they're going to River Keep. Interesting. Now, is it quicker? It's probably quicker to go to River Keep, actually, isn't it? Then go across. Because there's a river there. There we go. Okay, let's go across the River Keep. Um, he's going to Soul Rest, 28th. Um, that's the 5th. R1 is the 5th. Okay, yeah, we definitely, yeah. We're definitely going to get him there. Perfect. We trapped him. We've got him. 92%. This should be the end. This should end this battle. This should end the war. And we'll have our first place. Now, it cost me a lot more than I thought it would. I did not expect to lose so many men, actually, in this war. Maybe I did not fight as well as I hoped. Uh, ruins during his survey mission. Excellent. We gain some technology. We get battle mage offense. Excellent. Some really good stuff there. And there we go. 100%. And there we go. We now have these lands. Shadow Marsh is now mine. Excellent. Very good indeed. Now we just need to hope we don't fall to my wound. Hopefully it just turns into a scar. Need to get our men back. So we've got the first place now. Next we'll look at Archian. 
because obviously this place we probably have a Casse better. We probably have a truce with, so I probably can't attack them for a while. Yeah, the prestige would be need a lot more prestige, or maybe not a lot more, just a bit more. Okay, nineteenth. But once they're back, he has seven hundred men. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait. Then we have to wait for our armies to rebuild. But as soon as they rebuild, we'll attack Archien. Definitely our next goal. Excellent. The old wound is finally healed, leaving a pretty grotesque scar behind. Phew, I was a little worried we were going to die. <laughs> I was a little worried that we might end up dying, but it gives us prestige. We got 20 marshal. That should be great for our armies. Perfect. Okay, so things are going as we planned. It's a bit slow to begin with so far, but obviously we're starting as quite a smaller lord. Now known as the Naughty. Are you kidding me? The Naughty. What kind of name is that? What a ridiculous name for an Argonian. Actually, maybe it's not so ridiculous. <laughs> maybe it's not so ridiculous. Okay. So there we go, we got rid of our men, um, now we just need to just kind of wait and have enough soldiers so we can attack Archien. At the moment we have about 710 maybe, here's 700, okay, so we're not too far off actually, we just need a few more men. Uh, we're still 30, so we're still quite kind of young, I need to make sure my son gets a good education, he's now and has the ritual birth sign, which kind of has, I can't do any magic it seems, some characters can do magic. I assume because I have the mage birth sign, I would be able to do magic. But yeah, that's a shame. Maybe it's not based on me, then. Maybe I maybe I got that wrong. Maybe it's based because we need our, our hist speaker to be able to do that. But we need a new shadow scale. Now, this guy is actually pretty good at shadow scale, so we're going to get him to do it. Uh, or she. <laughs> I, think it's, I think that one's a he. But he likes us, so that's good. Um, scheme for now. Now, we need to get you married, because obviously, you know, you're a new member of our court, as we said before. I like to marry our members of our court. Okay, lots of people. Um, marry this one. Perfect. So that was married. Now we have a new uh, vassal, Chief Woolen, Keith Lilan. I, I should really not say these names, but he's only 14 years old. So we have to wait to see what he turns out to be. Maybe he could be a good vassal for us. Like 776. You realize that to become a great fighter, you would need to get in better shape. That's a great path in the nearby woods that would be excellent for running. This sounds like a this seems like a perfect position where someone's gonna like kidnap me. Let's go running. That seems like a very terrible idea. <laughs> but I don't know. Having spent countless hours swinging your sword, it is clear that your technique is getting better. You know the essence of every possible strike to utilize in a fight. Excellent. What's my personal combat skill? 11. Ooh, that's, I hope that's good. I'm not exactly sure. But 21 at the moment. This is all going well for us. We have a few more men. I want to get a bit more men because as we've seen before, we definitely cannot trust my wife. He now has an ally. Okay, it's a friend. It's a low-born friend. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. My chancellor approached me after a council meeting today and asking me to join him for supper. We both had a grand time and I think perhaps I should continue to spend time with Rasha. Ah, oh, Rasha. Okay. Um, how about then? Let's be friends. Me and my uh, my chancellor will be friends. My first friend. Isn't that lovely? Now let's have a look at the rest of the world. Now it looks as though nothing's really going on. I can't see any like uh, things being sieged at the moment. So that's okay. Apparently I've inherited something. Or this high chief of Patru. See, the problem is the pictures and stuff all look the same. I'm really bad at... I'm really bad. I feel racist. I can't tell the difference between the Argonians. <laughs> that sounds. That doesn't sound good, does it? But yeah, hopefully I'll learn to kind of tell the difference. But yeah, I guess we have kind of this interesting forehead going on. That's kind of the best way to find out. Hopefully my son. Okay, my wife is pregnant. Now we definitely need to change the inheritance laws then. Um, but it's going to have to wait a bit more. Still 10 years. Yeah, just six more years and we can do it. We have 851 men. Okay, we're definitely growing up at a much quicker rate. So I'm going to leave it for now. We're going to just keep watching. Is anyone else at war? No, none of the other Argonians are going to war. Interesting. Okay, so it looks as though I'm the only one kind of expanding. The Black Rose will rise. Like the Rose, we are a fawn. And we can prick hard. That 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 sounds weird. So that, some, some reason that doesn't sound right. Prick hard. Hmm. I'm going to think of a new one, maybe. What is this guy? Slander. 
You want to slander someone. I should ask people to end plots. I forgot to click that. That is uh, something I should probably remember to do. Yeah, no, no, this, this priest is terrible. So I'm just going to get them to do this. Perform alchemy. Just want to make sure there's no bad things that can happen. Special brew. Batch of healing. Okay, let's do that then. Let's just do that then. Doesn't know there's anything bad that can happen. We might as well get them to do that. Now these are actually our culture, I think. Yeah, that's actually our culture, so that's good. So that's fine. Now known as the Whisper. Okay, Petru's now known as the Whisperer. Interesting. Well, he took their lands, and he's just had a son, or daughter, sorry. Maybe we could marry their daughter. Maybe we could inherit their land. You know, marry the daughter, then kill him. No, people wouldn't help us kill them. Plus, we'd have to wait till the daughter comes to age. That's going to take quite a long time. Okay, 917 men. I think this might be the time. I think this might be the time. Maybe. Maybe. We saw in the battle there that obviously the Black Marsh, we could still win. Even though they actually had, obviously, the extra terrain. But only just one. So I'm, I'm a little worried about that. I know I can't trust my wife. And we know that this is still building up. So I'd rather just wait just to make sure. At the beginning of this type of game, if I remember correctly, especially in this mod, you got to be really careful. If you really let your men deplete down, everyone will attack you. That's what I remember from last time when I played it before. Like I say it could have changed a lot, but I'd rather just keep to safe ones at the moment. 745. We had a second son. Not what I wanted. Yeah. Dectum Ja. That's not what I wanted because now we're going to have title losses. So we're going to need to change the law. Still six more years to go, though. Yeah, definitely have to change that. The ritual. What's my son, other son got? The apprentice. Ah, okay. Apprentice birth. So I want to put my daughter. What did she get? The Atronach. Okay. She said they're all quite young. Though, but it's good we have three children now. Our inheritance is safe. Uh, our wife, obviously, our children inherit her land, which is good as well. So, yeah, everything's looking kind of nice for us. 99 gold as well. 966 men. We have 200 more. I think that's enough. Yeah, 200 more men. Okay, I, I like to be safe, but maybe we're going too far. Let's take this. This is obviously feudal. Oh, no, it's tribal. I thought I said it was feudal, but I guess the guy who owns it is feudal. Okay, we'll go for this one anyway. Okay, let's declare war. Uh, Mere hall. Excellent. Let's go. So we are attacking them. Hopefully my wife will actually help out this time. Because we almost had, you know, we have 100 more men we can get. But I think we're fine for now. Calling our allies... Oh, there must be a war that she can be called into. Okay, we we do have a war. <laughs> I have no idea what that's talking about. Why can't she be called into this war? Okay, we're going to go straight in then. Let's make sure we have the best commanders though. So, definitely me. Though I could die. We did see we got wounded last. It can't happen again. It, our guy's brave, you know. Our guy's a brave man. He's going to go in himself. And, you know, he is ruthless. He's reckless, sorry. So that does make sense. You know, if he's a reckless man, he's going to jump in. So we're going to jump straight into attacking this 93. Now, most of his men are probably here. But he probably has to cross a river. Now, do we cross a river here? There's no river there, so we're probably that's probably good. But we have low morale. Okay, let's just move all our men here then to begin with. Let's move all our men here, actually. Let's wait for our morale to go up. Because maybe he has his men there. He'll move them in. Could be a problem. I still can't call her in. Are you at war or something? It doesn't look like she's at war. I have no idea what she's doing. Offer vassalization? No. Call to arms. Huh. Hmm. I'm very, I'm very perplexed about why we cannot call her in. But that's fine. It's fine. You know, they don't have many men. Uh, oh, wow. It's 875. Okay. <laughs> I forgot, obviously, as a defender, he's going to gain extra men. So that is now actually a worry. We're pretty equal when it comes to soldiers. Now, he's leading his men, but he has zero marshal. He's a bit of a slob, apparently. So that's good. Okay, so maybe we'll be fine, though. If we come into battle with each other, maybe because of my high marshal, maybe we will be fine. Now, the 12th, we should have all our men together, and we'll jump straight in. Okay, 970. Okay, let's go. Yeah, those two are the best, if I remember correctly. We'll jump straight in there. Okay, 701 men. Now, there is more men around, we know that, and this is Black Marsh. But we remember last time we had 100 more, we were fine. This is 200 more. Maybe we'll be fine then. 
Ten men coming over there. Now, is he actually there himself? He's not actually leading the men himself. Okay, who is leading his men then? None of his courts, courtiers are leading the men. I think we'll be fine if we attack this one. I'm a bit worried, but you know what? you got to take some risks sometimes. The 22nd, we'll get there. Hopefully, that we know there's more men around. There's at least 150 more men. If he gets 150 men in, we could be in trouble, but without them, we should be fine. Okay, so the next day. The next day will be when the battle begins. Let's do this. There's no river or anything. Okay, they're, here, they're coming there. Oh, damn. The 30... Okay, this is bad then. Okay, this was definitely bad timing. Shit. Okay, come on, guys. You can do this. You have 100 more men. No, they're pushing us back. They're killing more of our men, but we're getting them down. No, no, no. It's pretty even. I think we just won. Oh, my God. We just did it. Oh, my God. Phew. Okay, we've been pretty lucky both times. And we captured the High Chief. Oh, my God. Perfect. There we go. I can't... Oh, Jesus. Okay, we need to be more careful then. That's why definitely the Black Marsh does help a lot more than I thought. You need at least maybe 200 men. I mean, we did it there, but to be safe. Enforce demands. And we'll take that. Thank you very much. The Black Rose has grown again. So there we go. And we can have three domain size, so that's fine. So we're not, we have no problems with double domain size. Okay, so this is going quite well then. We've now got four things. We have free domain for ourselves. Now, obviously, he's lost a lot of men. And so have these guys. 300. Can we declare war anytime soon? 83. So we've got to wait eight years before we can attack them. So we can't attack Patru and we can't attack Aetian for a while. We might have to look at Naga, but they have 900 soldiers. So maybe we're going to have to try to take a break for now when it comes to war. Concentrate on our own people, concentrate on our children, uh, and obviously change the uh, inheritance law. That's what we're going to look at next. But yeah, just five more years until we can change it. Let's increase the time then. Now, we've got to wait for our men to grow. Naga might attack us for some reason. He does have a lot of soldiers. Vicious rumors going for him at the moment. Uh, the constant quarrels of High Chiefess Anusha and her adulterous affairs has brought me to a boiling point. If I ever loved her, that love has disappeared with this latest betrayal. <gasps> My wife! How She is a lover? How dare you, Anusha? How dare she? Um, we become bitter rivals. Me and my wife have become <laughs> Okay, she has no lover, apparently, but we become bitter rivals. Um, someone's born to Rasha. That is a shame, though. I mean, at least we got what we wanted out of her. We got two children. But that is, that is a shame. She wants to obtain an artifact right now. God damn you, wife. God damn you. And we're gaining men very quickly again, which is nice. But we're just waiting for the, the 10 years to pass. Yeah, I wish you could see how long it's been. Like, if it tells you how long you've been king, maybe. Nope, nothing can tell you how long you've been king. That, that's kind of a shame. So while we're waiting for that, then we've got to look at the rest of the realm. I was one of the first to saddle my horse and chased after the bandits who had stolen one of the valuable chalices from our church. When I returned exhausted and with filthy clothes, I was told the old priest had simply misplaced the chap. Are you kidding me? Well, we get some favor. We gain some favor. That's nice. Now, I will do the Hist thing uh, once. Um, we will commune with the Hist once my child becomes the age. That will be probably what we'll try to do. Nothing. Okay, looks like the Colonial Estates is having some problems. The King of Nibbani just died. Okay, King Marcatia. Marcatio, he's a very good steward. He's now become the new uh, king. Serpent, follower of Arcae. Yeah. But some really nice things they've had. Like, I think in Morrowind, obviously, they have uh, some artifacts. If I remember correctly. Nope, no artifacts for this guy. Okay. I know you can get artifacts in this game. You can actually find artifacts and stuff, which are kind of useful. None of these guys has an artifact. Okay, that surprised me. I know down, obviously, in uh, the elves they have them, but yeah. So you can, you can find some good artifacts and stuff. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, up in the north, not much going on. The Colonial State seem to have a rebellion going on. It seems to be over. King Heron the Cautious Tor. Okay. Obviously, we have the center, the Imperial Isle, Count Marvus of Pell's Gate. He controls that right now. Pell's Gate, okay. But yeah, maybe someone else. Maybe we could, well, as we build up, someone else will. 
There's a lot of places you might want to build up. But yeah. Obviously we have Daggerfall over here. A place a lot of people will know. If I remember correctly, that's where the first game takes place. Obviously never played the first game. 